everyone! Today we are going to start a sketchbook. And to do that, we need to design the cover. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I thought about a million different ways that we could cover this journal, this sketchbook. I could paint right on top of it. I could take a piece of watercolor paper, cut it down to size, and create something from that. But then there was an idea that I really, really liked and I really want to do, so that's what we're doing. And that is, we're gonna cover it with fabric. I have all of these little fabric pieces that are so freaking cute, so freaking adorable. Um, I mean, I have unicorns, I have carrots. I mean, okay, so that's not really a great example. But I have these other ones, like, look, um, purses, uh, these cute little kittens. So I'm going to take my favorite pieces from my fabric scraps and, and kind of like Mod Podge them onto my sketchbook. However, I don't actually have Mod Podge. I've got glue. I've got some leftover slimy goop from when I used to make slime. And I've got some washable clear Elmer's glue. And I'm thinking that we just mix those up with water and it's Mod Podge and it's just as good. So let's do that. I'm hoping this dries clear. I don't know if it will or not. We'll find out. And then I guess I should put some of this. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. You know what? I'm gonna put water in this and really get all of the glue out. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on and give it a good shake. Okay, so this is mostly water, so. And I have this paintbrush, so let's just mix it up. It almost feels like I'm making slime, but I'm not. Uh, I hope this is gonna be sticky and gluey enough. I guess I could have just used it straight, but I don't know. They say mix it with water and that makes Mod Podge. Did I use measurements? Of course not, that would, that would be logical. I didn't do that, no. <laughs> I hope this works out. <laughs> okay, why is it so stringy? It's like reacting weird. Or maybe it's just not mixing enough. Who knows? Does it feel gluey? I guess I have to touch it. Ugh. It's pretty gluey. I mean, it's gluey. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of a stick to it. Maybe I put too much water in. I don't know. We're gonna find out though, aren't we? All right, moving right along. Okay, I definitely want some of this kitten pattern, so I'm gonna set that aside. Whoa, it's a big piece. Um, I don't know if we can use this. I don't know. I like the puppy. The puppy's cute, uh, but he's green. Why is the puppy green? That's pretty, but that's enough to do something with, so I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, I like that. Um, I don't know, it's not my favorite unicorn. I like it, but I, I don't know. Maybe the rainbow. Is there a correct rainbow on here? Or are they all wrong? Oh, they're all wrong. Purple, pink, and yellow, come on. Even the tail is wrong. Okay, I'm sorry, You've gotta go. Okay, that's cute. That's from my 1930s reproduction fabric. I really like that. So maybe the little girl and the bunny. I love this pattern like so much. The only thing is I use it all the time and I'm, I'm a little bit over it right now. Definitely want the poodles. Oh, I like these kittens too. This was a shirt I was trying to make for a doll and didn't quite turn out. Okay, I love this pink puppy pattern. Uh, what else? Harry Potter. Well, it's not really Harry Potter, but it's still cool. Ooh, the little crystal ball. I like that. And this, okay, we'll take that. And the witch's hats. Oh, this is like my favorite, favorite pattern ever. I'm gonna put this on there just because I love it so much. Oh, here's another one I love. 
I love this. Look at those birds. They're little chickadees. They're so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. There's no color pattern really that I'm going by. It's just gonna be a, a Mod Podge. Oh, I have the pink poodle poodle pattern too. I think the teal stands out more. Oh, I like this flower. Maybe I can use that as filler. I don't know. I'm setting it aside. Balloons. We need balloons. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I've got this. But you know what? I know there's another pattern that I have that I want to get, so I'll be right back. Okay, found two. One is this adorable unicorn pattern and the other is this black kitty cats. Okay, let's start seeing what we can do here. Oh, I'm suddenly realizing how small this is compared to all the stuff I want to put on it. Okay, but it won't be all of that fabric, so we'll just we'll just go from there. Okay, chickadees. Why well, yes. We've got to have chickadees. I kind of want them to just be random, so that might be too big, but we'll, we'll go. We'll go with it. We'll see what happens. Definitely want the unicorn. Who doesn't like unicorns? Oh, that's going to be big. We don't know. Will it work? Have to have the cat. I love the cat. It's a really cute retro cat. Maybe we'll just have a few of the cats on there because I like a lot of the different poses. I'm really trying to make this kind of as collage-y. Is that a word? Collage-y? Collage-like as possible. Okay, I want this kitten too. These kittens too. Do they clash? Poodles, Las Vegas. Okay. The one with the poodle sitting. And the one with the poodle standing. Okay, we'll, get the, we'll do those two or one of them. This, I just want a little piece in there. This is a filler, but I like it. This can be filler too. It may have failed as a shirt, but it is going to live on as a little piece of my notebook or sketchbook. Why do I keep saying notebook? Okay, well, that's good enough. That's a, that's a good one. I like this because it's so retro looking. I'd love to have like a dress made out of it. And I need the castle in the crystal ball because I love that so much. I love the candle too. Maybe I'll just do both of those. I'm being real graceful with cutting right now. I just really kind of want to get, I want the witch's hat. I just want to get pieces in there and see where we, see where we are. Mm, I like the spell book. That's cute too. Kind of gives it a magic look. And then I don't know if we're gonna need that, but we'll try. Oh, and this one. I wish this was ironed. Okay. Oh, then I can put this maybe here. And that like that. Oh wait, I wanted that over there. Okay. I see the theme is kind of this blue, but I still want these other things in there because I don't know, I like it. I just like it. I think we could have a pop of pink here that there and then we can just put filler pieces in on top oh how am i gonna do this okay let's start like this i'm just dipping it in here let's see if this is right this is probably wrong i'm doing it kind of like paper mache or at least that's my thought oh it's a bad thought maybe i shouldn't have done this Now did I just wrinkle it? Oh no, it's wet. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Oh gosh. Oh no, this is showing through. Well, this is gonna be awkward. Maybe when it dries, it won't show through. Let's hope. Let's just hope. You know what? I need to put this like this so I don't get, oh boy, there we go. Now we've done it. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna do it this way, which did, it didn't get as wet, so that's kind of good. <laughs> oh dear. All right, here we go. Seems like it's not as wet over there. There we go. Oh, hey, there's an idea. <laughs> I could have done this all along. What am I thinking? Why am I making this so complicated? 
Well, this is just going to help, okay? Um, no, I really want them to be wetter than this, though. We're still going forward. You know what? The plan was good in the beginning. We're just going to keep going, okay? What? All right. Now we'll get all that excess glue-ish, watery stuff out. And here we go. It's just going to be what it is. Oh, did it get bigger? Oh, I think I didn't realize how big it was because it was like all wrinkled and now it's not. It's gonna be interesting to see if that backside shows through. We'll find out, won't we? I think it might. I have a sneaky suspicion it just might, but you know, that's okay. It's art. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, in this case, ah, don't get there. Um, I feel like I lost some pieces. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I want that under that. Like that. Oh, and you know what? I want that under that too. Ah! Good thing it doesn't dry fast. I get to play around with it a little bit. Probably doesn't dry fast because I put way too much glue here. Watery glue. Okay, kittens. Or cats. These are cats. They're not kittens. Oh, you can't see that now, huh? Darn it. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Okay, now I can see everything. Oh, look at how bright that glitter is. Very cute. Oh, my birds. I almost forgot about my birds again. That goes there. I don't have all of the things I want on here, but you know what? You know what? You know what? We're just going to put that there. You know what? Nothing matches, but that was the point. Let's hope that this dries. And you don't see the blue in the back. Oh, you know what? I got a strip right there that needs something. All right. Now we let it dry and I'll show you whether it's a masterpiece or a master don't. And I'm going to go wash up. Oh, I never put this on. Oh, well. Save it for next time. Ah, I forgot this one too. Okay, and we're back. And this is mostly dry. But I realized I forgot to add the crystal ball. I do want it on there, so I'm gonna put that on. And I'm gonna cut it before I put it on there. I don't really need all the excess fabric since I've already put all the back pieces on. So I should have just done this to begin with, but everybody's like, oh, I use Mod Podge to put fabric on. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's what you do. Okay, we'll just go like that. Okay, because I'm gonna add glitter glue on top of this. So I'm just gonna kinda go like that. Oh, that's a glob. Let's see if this goes. Oh my gosh, I'm living for this. Oh, oh, I love this so much. I don't even wanna ever not have this on anything. Oops. Okay, so this is just straight glue. So if it wasn't like securely down before, it's gonna be now. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean my table. Oh, this is so very pretty. So it's probably the fa my favorite sketchbook cover I've ever done. Oh my gosh, there's a bubble there. Don't be a bubble. Okay, now we can really secure that crystal ball down. Oh my goodness. So much glitter. Wow, I really recommend this to everyone. This is really fun. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I just don't want like little glitter pockets there. Okay. Guys, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Okay. What a pretty, pretty, pretty piece. Now I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to it and see how it ends up. Here it is all finished. Very shiny, very cute, very collagey, very artsy, very silly, very quick. I just want something on the cover. I 
think it looks nice. I think it looks cool. It looks really kind of retro and old style. And now we get to fill it up. Okay guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.